Hello everyone, I know it's been a while and I do apologise but today I'm in Daxter's room and I'm going to see if I can reorganise his toys a little bit because we now have downstairs a different setup which I will take you downstairs later in this video and show you how downstairs is looking, it's made me feel so much better. So we have bought the Calax unit up here and it actually doesn't look too bad in Dexter's room. The one thing that I want to do today is reorganise all of his toys, see if there's anything that I can declutter and just make it feel a bit more tidy in here and stuff and I've got boxes, I've got like a boxes of stuff here that just need sorting through and put in where they need to go. So that's basically what I'm doing today in this video. So I hope you enjoy, I'm just going to get on because I don't want to be doing this for too long today. Oh yeah, I wanted to explain, so we still have the train table over there as you can see, um, but I think I have sold it. I am just waiting for the lady to get back to me, she, she was a little bit awkward actually, she asked me for more photos even though I'd already taken like hundreds of photos and put them on the post. She asked me for more photos so I had to faff around doing that yesterday. She made me an offer which I have accepted but I'm just waiting for her to get back to me on when she wants to collect it. Also just excuse any of the mess in the background like I say. I haven't had chance to really get in this room and properly tidy up for a while so that is my mission today. So first of all I'm just going to show you how this Calax unit is looking and close this door which makes it a little bit dark in this room. I don't know if you can tell on the camera but this is what it's looking like but I am actually thinking of taking all of the books off it and putting all of the boxes in with toys because basically I want this unit to be where we store all of the out of rotation toys because I'm still going to continue with toy rotation downstairs but also he can play with these toys when we're upstairs if he wants to but I'm just going to have all of the boxes in there with themed things in. Hopefully I want a box full of like educational toys and a box with his excess cars and things like that in. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'm hoping that I'll be able to put the books in boxes under the bed and rotate those as well because Dexter does have quite a lot of books. If you've followed me for a while then you would know he has thousands of books and I don't think any child really needs this many books but we love books so and we do read a lot of them so what I'm going to start doing is rotating books more we used to rotate books previously but I haven't done it in a while we've just had all the books out because we found that he wasn't really playing with any toys and he was gravitating more towards books and so we were just reading all the time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to rotating books and any that I feel like he's not gravitating towards anymore then we're going to declutter those over time but with Christmas coming up I have finally started doing my Christmas shopping as well for Dexter. I haven't bought anything for anybody else yet but to be honest I think we're planning to focus just on the kids this year so and make Christmas about them and not really bother too much about the adults um, because even ourselves like we don't really want or need anything so we're just concentrating on the kids because Christmas should be about the children anyway and making it magical for them so I have started buying things and so far I'm very proud of myself that I am sticking to my guns with being minimal I will make a video um, showing what I've bought him and stuff closer to December or in December because I'm planning on doing some Christmassy themed videos in December and just taking a step back and then January I will probably start my decluttering journey again but yeah throughout December I just kind of want to take a step back because mentally um, this is proving to be quite taxing on me mentally and um, I feel like I definitely need the break and I need to focus on 
just getting through Christmas which can be a really stressful time but this year we're going to try and make it as least stressful as possible and hopefully it will be a lot nicer because I do tend to suffer from SAD is it seasonal affective disorder or something where you get you start to feel quite low in the winter with the darker nights and darker mornings and things like that it does it affects me every year and I'm trying very hard to provide myself with a lot more self-care and be gentle with myself so that I can try and avoid getting too low so let's get on with this toy reorganization and declutter so currently if you're new here and you've not seen my previous toy reorganization we used to keep all of our toys in the cupboard downstairs and we used to rotate them from the cupboard downstairs now that wasn't working and i do feel like when you i want to say when you move into a new house but like not just when you move into a new house but when you have a home um i do feel like there's a lot of trial and error and there's going to be things that you try that don't always work out and need a little bit of reorganization so i made the decision a few months ago to bring all of dexter's toys up here i was very adamant before that i didn't want any toys in his room really because a room a bedroom is like a place for sleeping but unfortunately we don't have anywhere else to put toys to rotate them so i bought all of the toys up here and they are in boxes under the bed now he has pulled out a few of the boxes and played with a few of the things so i know those are the things that i'm definitely going to keep i'm going to basically theme these boxes in the best way that i can and uh see how that goes and then we'll see if there's anything we can declutter but i'm not entirely sure um train table is already being decluttered so i'm going to get on because i don't want to ramble on for too long but you get the point i've got a box here of a load of things that i just need to sort out as well and i'm going to go and get some more calyx boxes and i'm going to start pulling these boxes from under the bed so that i can just see what we've got and what I can put where basically. I also have some puzzles and stuff in a drawer downstairs that I want to probably bring up here as well but we'll see how it goes. First things first I'm going to go and I'm going to start clearing this shelf actually and then I'm going to pull the boxes out from under the bed and I'm going to get the other Calax boxes and just see what I can do. box i have put like all educational things i bought these bags off amazon um a while ago and these are like really handy for just sort of keeping everything organized and then just picking out what you want to put on your shelves so um or what you want what toys you want out basically so this is going to be a box of like educational toys so i'm going to pop this box in the calax at the top So now I think I'm going to create a box of building toys. So I'm going to put this lovely box of Duplo in here, which is overflowing, um, which is not ideal. The lid does go on when, thing, when the bricks are put away properly, but I haven't got time for that today. So I'm just going to pile them in anyhow it's because he's been playing with them this morning in his bedroom so i'm just going to pile them in anyhow for now but i do obviously need to come back another day and properly put these away these are some wooden blocks which we would like to keep for a bit longer because they're quite good obviously open-ended 
wooden blocks and they're sensory blocks as well so some of them make some of them make a noise so these have always been quite handy to have and keep for a bit a little bit longer and then i'm just going to put this wooden rainbow in here as well oh i can find out which way it goes <laughs> those are his building toys i'll probably come across some others because i know that we've got some mickey mouse lego under the bed that i need to try and reach and get out i'm going to create like a sensory box as well because dexter loves his sensory toys so i'm going to create a sensory box next There probably is some more laying around somewhere. There's also this one that I like to put with the sensory stuff, but I need to find a bag that it goes in with all the tools and stuff because there's a bag somewhere laying around. And I've also found some more educational toys that I need to put in the educational box as well if they will fit, or I might have to make a second box. I think there's room. And there's some bits here, random bits that need sorting out. Hopefully I can just sort of fit these in. Might be a box that we just have to rummage through. This I think I am actually going to declutter because um, he he has sort of played with it, but I just feel like he doesn't play with it a lot, so I think I'm going to hide it for a while. The way I like to declutter Dexter's toys is I like to just hide them for a while, like a few weeks to like a month, and if he hasn't asked for it, then I declutter it. I feel like that's just the way that works for our family is that we don't declutter things that then he does actually want to play with and I think a month gives him a good time to sort of like really know whether he wants it or not basically so there are a couple more bits under the bed which I do want to get I'm actually quite proud of myself because I said to myself that I want to try and keep his toys strictly to this Kallax unit and the two drawers that he's got in there and so far I feel like we're doing quite well because the stuff that we've got actually does fit in here so far and I've got I'm really sorry about the focus the focus on this camera is diabolical I've actually got four cubes still to fill and I've only got like a couple of boxes under the bed I think which I'm just going to try and get out now and then we're going to go through this box of stuff that Dexter has collected over the past few days because that's what he likes to do. He likes to get empty boxes and just fill them with random things and um, it's not always overly helpful so and then I'm going to see if I can put some books, try and theme some books because now I've got two big boxes empty and this little box empty so um, I'm going to see if I can fill those with books and try and put them in some sort of theme for making rotation easier because we've got some space under the bed still that I then I can just put like all of his books under the bed and if he wants to read them he can. So I've got four boxes still. I'm just going to have a sip of my hot chocolate before it goes cold because I'm terrible at drinking hot drinks. And I really don't want to waste this hot chocolate because it's so good. Okay, back to work. Seven years now on the Can't reach the Mickey Mouse Lego and there's a couple of boxes at the back of the bed as well. So I might have to go and get Mr. Grabby in a minute. But let's sort out what we've got here. I could do with making a, a bit of a role play box. Not like a role play box. Um, he's already got a role play box that I want to sort out. I could do with making a um, a small world 
um, box. So um, we got these animals out the other day and they've not been put back where I want them to be put back. So that's, yeah. <laughs> that's one thing we deal with in this household as well. It's not just Dexter, it's my husband as well. Like, I think even if I labelled things, which I am planning on doing, I'm planning on making some little labels and labeling things so that everybody knows where everything goes because it stresses me out so much when people put things in in the wrong place because then i feel like i am tidying up constantly i'm putting things in the right place constantly and nobody else in the house is and it's a little bit frustrating i'm going to make a box of things these I don't know whether to put these in the building box this is like a flower garden thing butterfly garden thing so i'm gonna put this in with the building stuff because this is like a building toy and then at least he will be able to pull out the boxes see what's in them and i'll be able to tell better i think what he does and doesn't play with which might make it easier for me to actually declutter but like i say downstairs now we have got two cabinets bookcase type things and one cupboard is dexter's and we're going to try and stick to just that one cupboard where we just rotate toys so that he can play hopefully more with everything that he's got but he does he doesn't really have a lot of interests i feel his interests are so limited i don't like to just get rid of everything in case he wants to play with things like a million bags of animals <laughs> but i'm trying to put everything in these bags because i want to use these and um i bought them off amazon like ages ago and i only wanted a couple of them but obviously on amazon you can't buy anything like just a few items of something so we actually have ended up with millions of them so now i am putting them to use and organizing things in a way i just need to make some labels probably just so that my husband more than dexter <laughs> knows where things go you know it's bad when you have to teach your husband where things go like he literally lives here and he doesn't know where things go it's insane so it's gonna be my little role play but not role play <laughs> keep saying that my little box of uh yeah the diggers and stuff i might just keep in this box that's quite handy to have them like that these i'm gonna put in the building in the building stuff i don't think i'm gonna be able to get anything else out from under the bed because it's all at the back i think my next challenge is gonna be to sort through this box of stuff that's just because it's giving me anxiety just looking at it. It's a box of stuff that Dexter has just shoved all of this stuff in a box, basically. And, uh, yeah, so I think I need to sort through these next, figure out where they go, and then we can try and get the boxes under the bed. Right in front of us if we just hold that needs to go back down the kitchen. This vision that I saw is getting else's child do this or they want to keep like cardboard boxes and then they just fill them with things or plastic boxes and they just fill them with things 
Ah, ai, ai, ai. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing now, <laughs> as usual. I've got two spaces left. I've done the role play box and we've got loads of little random bits laying around that I just do not know where to put. I've got little bits that I want to put away, some bits that I want to declutter. Does anybody else get to this point when you're reorganising or tidying up that you just end up with little bits everywhere that you don't know what to do with? I think to be honest a lot of them I'm just gonna have to get rid of because I'm just like what? <laughs> there's things that I know like where they go and then there's things that I'm like what? <laughs> I need to find a couple more of these plastic boxes. I do apologise again about the focus. Um, I don't know what's going on with my camera but the focus is just not great. I've tried to play around with the settings and stuff and I'm still just not getting the focus right so I do apologise if it keeps going out of focus. These he's taken off the fridge and I don't know whether to put them back on the fridge or put them away for a bit and put something else out or just not have anything on the fridge at all. But some of them are numbers and some of them are shapes. Now I've got to sit and organise them because I don't just want to throw them in the box and make a mess for myself. Because it's bad enough that there are letters in here that don't belong in here. <laughs> as well this will be Ben you can see that this one shapes this is why I don't think there's any point me labeling things because even when I think look the lid is literally labeled shapes and he's put letters in there why Gosh, it takes more time to put things in the wrong place. It takes more time and effort to put things in the wrong place than it does just putting them in the right place in the first place. Right, so these letters go in the one that has letters on it. If you're watching this, Ben, I still haven't come across the bag for this tall screw board thing, which is really annoying because it's got to be somewhere, I just don't blimmin' know where. And I need to go and get Mr Grabby so that I can put away some of this other stuff. <laughs> stuff. Ah, stuff everywhere. Anybody else get fed up when you're tidying up or is it just me? <laughs> I found the bag. <laughs> I don't know where the rest of the tools are for it. I'm gonna have to have a little look around and see if I can find those because I don't know what's happened to those. But I'm gonna put this in here. Put it in the sensory box. old train track under here as well so I need to get to that but I'm struggling I was meant to go down and try and find the rest of these boxes the smaller boxes that will fit in those but oh my goodness there are 
random things in this box that shouldn't be in here as well. I'm going to tip all of this out and see if I can try and organise it. Um, like for some reason we've ended up with these woody figures from my mum's house so I think I might like send them back to her house because he doesn't really play with them. The only thing, things that need to go in here are the potato head stuff. I don't know how other stuff ends up in there, I really don't. My brain hurts. My brain physically hurts. Never alone. You're never alone. Snowman could do going in. Okay, the train track under his bed. I'm just going to leave it there for now because I can't reach it. So I have a random sensory box that I need to put away in the airing cupboard because that's where all the sensory stuff is at the moment until I get round to properly sorting things out in there. I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy up and put some books in these under the bed boxes because um, I think that's what's making me feel like I'm in a bit of a mess because I've got books on the floor down here everywhere so I'm going to put some of them in this box and get that sorted and then I'm going to try and find a box for these diggers which do my absolute head in but he loves them so I can't get rid of them and then I'm just going to have a look in those drawers and see if there's anything in there that we can get rid of. And then I think I might just leave this video here because I'm not feeling very motivated today. For now, I'm not going to theme, theme these books. I'm just going to put them in this box because I haven't got the energy today. I'm not really feeling that motivated anymore so I'm gonna basically just tidy up these little bits and then I'm gonna see if I can just rest and chill for the rest of the afternoon. I want next year to be the year where I feel better about my home and I know that I've still got a long way to go, I've still got a lot of stuff to declutter and I definitely feel like I am on the way there but um, I also still feel like there's a lot to do still. I'm sort of getting there but I'm just not at the same time like I need to get rid of a hell of a lot of stuff in January probably and this is why I am basically just going to end up just charitying it most of it. I'm just going to put these few little bits in this charity box not even a charity box but this declutter box that I've got going on out here which I'm going to show you in a minute what's in there is everything that I'm thinking about decluttering and obviously this because this was meant to go to the dump last time we went so I'm just going to put it in this box for now but yes I this is a declutter box this little pile of things needs to go back to my mum's house because those toys actually belong to my nephew um or well, they did belong to my nephew like at my parents house so I'm gonna give them back because I'm just sick of everything being here and I'm trying to declutter and to be honest he never plays with them like never so um I'm gonna give them back to her and then she can decide what she wants to do with them I'm just running out of energy, like really running out of energy. I could do with a break, but I know that if I go and take a break now that I won't want to come back to it. And that's why I don't want to. I know it's a bit silly because when you've got a chronic illness, you're meant to take regular breaks. And I do ad 
advocate for that massively like it's really important to take breaks there are a few bits in here that for now I'm probably just going to leave in there because like I say I haven't got the energy and I'm not feeling that motivated and I've said this before in my videos that if you are not feeling the motivation anymore that is important to stop because if you don't that's where things get hard you get decision fatigue and um, you end up not doing as good a job as if you were in the mood to do it so I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna revisit this again another day and I'm really sorry that because uh, <laughs> I feel like a lot of my videos are like this where I start a job and I don't really finish it um, that's the beauty of having a chronic illness unfortunately but also to reiterate I really do think it's important that you only do this kind of thing when you feel like you need to do it otherwise it is going to affect you mentally it's going to consume you and I've let it consume me in the past and I'm at a point now where I'm like no I'm not gonna let this consume me and as much as it does annoy me that I'm not getting done what I want to get done I'd rather come and revisit it on another day when I've got more energy because then I know that I'm gonna do a better job basically because at the moment I feel like I'm just fannying around <laughs> so this is the reality of decluttering when you're a hoarder I will get there as said in previous videos I am determined to get there and I will um, but I'm just I definitely need to pause and <laughs> re-motivate myself regain my energy and try and find a way of getting through this mess that i've created <laughs> so now i have a box with no lid which is really really bugging me because ideally i want that box to go in here where he can't really see it because <laughs> it's this these boxes these blooming diggers but Basically, these diggers are ones that you can take apart, so they come with little screwdrivers and you can take them apart. So Dexter has always been really interested in tools and stuff because he's watched my dad like build things all the time for us and he, he helps him. I bought him these diggers like ages ago and he does play with them, he loves them. But what he tends to do is take them apart and just carry the screws around and put them in places and just put them in other boxes and carry them around and and yeah like when he's taken all the bits apart they're quite annoying i am eventually gonna put another box here and i'll probably put them in the box because there's not much else to put in the boxes other than the train track which he probably won't play with but I'm just gonna see once his train table has gone um, I might rotate it put the train tra track out over Christmas maybe see if he plays with it over Christmas and if he doesn't then I'll get rid of it I'm gonna go downstairs because I think there are some lids for these boxes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs get a lid for these boxes I'm gonna take you down with me to show you our <laughs> living room and then I'm going to come back upstairs and finish off tidying up. But I'm probably going to leave the video. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys downstairs because I don't think it's that interesting watching me tidy up the rest of the little bits. Because there's only a few bits to do anyway. So I have got a box here on the stairs as well that I need to sort out. Because <sighs> that's something else I'm sick of. <laughs> is what I tend to do is like pile stuff up on the stairs when it needs taking up um, but because I don't have the energy to go up and down the stairs all the time I struggle to take it up but nobody else takes it up for me so that ends up being my job there's also a box of things down that I've bought down here that I need to sort out and put where it goes down here so um, yeah, I'm just going to show you this and then I'm going to leave the video here. We now 
have our living room looking like this which is so much cosier i love it it's been very good for me to be able to come downstairs after i've got dexter off to bed and just have an hour to myself in front of the fire and watching netflix and drinking a hot chocolate and it's just made me feel so much better and i feel like even though it's not tidy in here because let me show you op's house which is now covered in stuff that i need to sort out and dexter has left his um things over there there's a lovely little oat bar on his car that he has left there before he went swimming so i need to put that in the bin <laughs> but yeah so i need to sort out this area but this is making me feel so much better i still need to put some things on the top shelf i've got ideas i might put some more plants up there but i'm not sure yet i quite like just leaving it quite minimal and empty we haven't got anything in this cupboard over here just yet because i know what i want to put in there but i just haven't got round to organizing it and then in this cupboard i will show you actually so this is Dexter's cupboard and he's actually loving being able to um, open the doors and get out what he wants, which is really nice. Um, he loves to open and close doors. So yeah, so at the moment he's got um, some feelings books in here and emotions. He's got his toolkit because he loves pretending that he's building things. He's got his magnets, which he loves. He's got his car like a few of his cars and the rest of the cars are upstairs but um he's got a few of his cars and he's got some dinosaurs in here which actually he hasn't bothered with yet since i put them in there and then down there he's got like a thing of magazines and some crayons and stuff paper and stuff which is really nice because we used to keep the paper and crayons in the little set of drawers by the sofa and he's never really been that interested in drawing and stuff but since i've put them in his cupboard and my dad actually left his pencil here from out of his toolbox and since um we've had like paper and his crayons and my dad's pencil in there he's been getting paper out and doing some drawing and it's been lovely actually because he's just never really been that interested in drawing and things so it's quite nice to see that he's going in there helping himself to the paper and doing some drawing so i'm really happy about that so i'm going to leave this video here because i need to take a little break and then i need to try and put the things out of this box where they go and the library books and then i need to go up back upstairs and finish sorting Dexter's bedroom and then I'm going to come downstairs and have a chilled out day with the rabbit I'm going to let him out so that he can have the entire day to just run around not that he does he just sleeps but yeah I I'm just going to finish off the last few little bits and then I'll probably sit down and edit this video this afternoon so that you guys can see it I'm gonna try and start recording my Christmassy themed videos soon so I will be putting up a decorate decorate in my house and I'll be sharing the gifts that I've got for Dexter which are minimalistic this year and I'm very proud of myself and so I will be sharing that I will do a wrap with me and show you his gifts I probably do like a couple of slow living Christmassy videos so if you're interested in that then stick around hit the subscribe button and I'll look forward to sharing those videos with you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video